Hello everyone, this is Steve. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the dynamic reporting capabilities of BDSS. BDSS comes with eight reports that can be executed at the league, tournament, open bowl, or all bowling scope levels. With dynamic reporting, BDSS supports highly customizable filtering for very specific reporting needs. In addition, report results can be targeted while bowling as a mid-game substitute, when not bowling as a substitute, or while bowling baker and reporting for scoring formats of regular and no tap are supported. And once the report and selected criteria is built, it can be saved to be executed later. So let's get started. From the home screen navigation menu, you will see under the reports query menu, two submenus, simple view and multi-report bowler view. They both support the same reporting capabilities, except simple view will only execute one report for one bowler at a time. The multi-report bowler view is designed to view one or more reports for one or more bowlers at the same time. We will take a look at both, but most of this video I will spend demonstrating in simple view. So let's click simple view and the select report form opens. It is this form where you'll select the report you wanna run, the bowler to run it for, the scope to run it under, and the scoring format. After these fields are entered, the Select Report Criteria button will be enabled for you to click and take you to the next form. So let's start by taking a look at the available reports. You'll see two groups. Frame level reports are reports that show metrics at the frame level, such as total strikes, spares, first ball average, etc. Game level reports are reports that show metrics at the game level, such as game scores, high game, high average, series detail, etc. And depending upon the report level, and in some cases the actual port chosen, the filtering criteria available to select may differ. So let's take a quick look at these reports. The basic frame metrics report shows basic frame metrics such as total strikes, spares, open, splits, conversions, etc. The detailed frame metrics report shows frame by frame detailed metrics such as total strikes, spares, opens, splits, conversions, etc. Pin leave conversion shows a graphical representations of pin leaves and conversion percentage. Find frame finds any game that has at least one frame that meets a specific criteria. Game score shows the full frame by frame game for all games that meet a specific criteria. It does not include games scored by quick score entry. Basic game metrics shows basic game metrics such as high games, high series, average, total games, etc. Series detail shows all completed game scores, series and average for a session of bowling. And then finally, blended average shows a comparison average for standard, challenge, and sport shot type, as well as a converted blended average. Now let's take a look at the bowler dropdown. This simply shows all active bowlers managed by BDSS. If you want to see inactive as well, just click the show inactive checkbox. And let's select a bowler, Steve. Under the drop down, there is a while link. The while link is only available when a frame level report is selected. It offers a list of enhanced bowler filter options. To show you this, let's select a frame level report. I'll select basic frame metrics. And you can see the while link becomes enabled. I'll click the while link. And let's review the available options. There are four options. Bowling Baker. This choice will only be visible when Bowling Baker has occurred and will only be selectable if the selected bowler is not the Baker Bowler team. When Bowling Baker is selected, the selected frame level report will show metrics for the selected bowler for only the frames bowled while bowling in Baker format games. Bowling as a sub, this choice will show metrics for only frames the selected bowler bowled while bowling as a mid-game substitute. 
not bowling as a sub. This choice will show metrics for only frames the selected bowler bowled while not bowling as a mid-game substitute. This will exclude frames bowled as a substitute. And then bowling any, excluding Baker. This is the default choice, and it will show metrics for frames the bowler bowled as a mid-game substitute or not as a mid-game substitute. Frames bowled during Baker Bowl are excluded. For this example, I will select not bowling as a sub. Now let's take a look at scope. Scope simply asks what type of bowling to filter on. Choices are league, open, tournament, or all. I'll choose league. And you can see an optional league dropdown becomes available. I can select the league and metrics will be filtered on just that league, or I can leave blank and metrics will be filtered on all leagues. But just to show you this, if I was to select tournament, you can optionally choose a tournament. And if I do, then I can optionally choose an event in that tournament. But for now, I'm just gonna choose a scope of league. And I'm going to choose Thursday Strikers, so all metrics are filtered on the Thursday Strikers League. Okay? And then finally, scoring format. It gives me three options, regular, no tap, and both. I will keep regular for now. And that's really it for the select report form. So now we're going to add optional reporting criteria. And so to do so, we click the select report criteria button. The first thing you notice on the select report criteria form is the report execution command that comes directly from the inputs from the select report form. Execute report, basic frame metrics, force Steve, while not bowling as a sub, where bowling type is league, and league equals Thursday strikers, and format is regular. Then there is a choice where to apply the frame level criteria. There are two radio buttons, strike attempt and spare attempt. Strike attempt simply means when applying the optional filter criteria, apply it to the strike ball attempt. In frames one through nine, this will always be the first ball rolled. In frame 10, it will be any ball rolled that is attempting to roll a strike. Spare attempt means apply filtering of optional criteria to any ball rolled attempting to pick up a spare. As an example, if a rule was created that wants only frame metrics where pin count is between seven and 10, and the apply frame criteria of strike attempt is chosen, then only metrics for frames where the pin count was between seven and 10 during a strike attempt will be calculated. In contrast, using the same criteria for a spare attempt will only calculate metrics where the pin count was between seven and 10 knocked down by the spare ball rolled. Last note for the apply frame level, it's only available for frame level reports and is not available for the pin leave conversion report. Let's keep strike attempt for now. Now, if you wish, you can add additional filter criteria. Before we do, let's just run without any additional criteria. So click run. And you see the basic frame metrics report. The execution command is on the top showing you what the report is filtered on. And you see the basic frame metric report. It's just some very basic frame metrics, strikes, spares, opens, splits, first ball average, all filtered using the selected filter criteria. Now let's go back to the select report criteria and let's add additional filtering and rerun the report. So to do so, click the add, and it opens the add edit report criteria form. Click the report criteria dropdown, and you're gonna see many different options you can filter on. When selecting frame level reports, you will see frame and game level criteria. When selecting game level reports, you will only see game level criteria. 
Depending upon the report, you may see more or less criteria to select. For example, the fine frames report has criteria such as is spare made and is open frame, while the basic frame metrics does not. I encourage you to review all the criteria as you play with the different reports. So let's select pin count. And let's say between five and seven. And click add close and then run. And if you look at the execution command, you'll see the pin count criteria added at the bottom. And the basic frame metrics report executes and only includes frames where the pin count was between five and seven. Now let's go back and add some additional rules. Click add. Now let's choose frame numbers between one and three. And we'll click add more. And then we'll also add another frame number between eight and 10. And we'll click add close. And you can see the second set of rules were added to the list. And now you got three rules, two with frame numbers between eight and 10 and one and three, and a pin count between five and seven. Yes, it's a strange combination to ask for, but you see, you get the feel for the infinite amount of ways to perform filtering. And if you click run, you'll see the report using the new criteria. and then the basic frame metrics report. Now let's go back and look at some other reports. And let's take a look at the detailed frame metrics report. Click select report criteria. And for the sake of showing you some good numbers, I'm gonna delete the criteria we previously selected. And I'm going to add a couple of new rules. And in this one, I'm going to say game number is between two and two. And that's a game level criteria. So there's game number two. And game score is between 200 and 300. Add close, and there you see our rules. And then just click run. And this is the detailed frame metrics report. It will aggregate each frame and show you the detailed roll up metrics about each frame bold. And in this case, it will only show frames for games number two and for scores between 200 and 300. all the way through frame 10. Okay, now let's go back to select report. Now let's take a look at the select pin leave conversions report. Click select report criteria. I'm gonna leave the same criteria for now and just click run. And this is the pin leave conversions report. It will show you each combination of pin leaves along with the number of times left, the times converted, and the percent success. You can sort this report either on percent success, ascending or descending, or times left, ascending, descending. So I will choose times left, descending. And you can see uh, it has sorted by times left, descending. Um, again, this is filtered. Uh, to only include games number two and scores between 200 and 300. And let's go back to select report. Now let's take a look at the find frames report. Click select report criteria. We're going to keep the same criteria, uh, but I'm going to add another rule. 
and it's going to be on is spare made. And I'm going to choose yes and close the report. So it's only going to bring back frames where the spare was made for game number two, where game scores were between 200 and 300. I'm going to click run. And there you go. And what you get back is a report that shows you all frames where a spare was made during games two that was between 200 and 300. And you can see that in the report execution command. You can click on a frame to see the frame details. So I'll just click on frame one here. Here's some uh, frame details report. Um, and you can also click on the game number. And that'll take you directly to the game itself, where you can edit the game accordingly or do whatever you want with it. And I will go back. And this is the Find Frames report. Now let's go back to Select Report. And now let's take a look at game level reports. So let's choose Game Scores. And you get a message. Uh, BDS has detected that some of the existing filtering criteria is not valid for the selected report and is offering to remove it for you. This is because the is spare made criteria we added when demonstrating fine frames is not a valid criteria for game scores. So let's go ahead and choose proceed. Click the select report criteria. And you see we have the two criterias for game number and game scores and is spare made is now gone. So let's click run. And we see the game scores report. It's a very simple report which shows you each game bold. The games do not have to be complete games. It's any, any game owned by the selected game owner. Uh, you can click on the game number to take you to the game itself. And here you can edit this game accordingly. So let's go back now to select report again. And let's take a look at basic game metrics. Click select report criteria. I'm going to again keep the same filtering click criteria. Just click run. And we see basic game metrics is just that, just a very basic report that shows you total games, total pins, average, high game, the league of the high game, the bowling center, the date of the high game, low game, high series, and low series. You can click on any one of these links. I'll click on high game, 289, and you can see it takes you directly to the game. Okay, now let's go back again, take a look at the next report. And let's take a look at series detail. Click select report criteria. And for this, I'm going to remove the existing criteria. Just to show you a little bit more detail. And then we click run. And what we see with the series detail report is all completed game scores, series, and average for a given session of bowling. Basically, since we have no additional criteria, this is just going to show you a week-by-week -week breakdown of, of league bowling. You can click on the bowl date to take you to the series itself. And it is going to default to the first game of the set. And then let's go back. You can see the rest of the league weeks. Okay, let's go back to select report. Let's take a look at the final report, blended averages. And for this example, I do not want a specific league. I want to take a look at all leagues. So to remove Thursday strikers, just change the scope to something else. And then let's go back to league again and we're going to leave the league blank click select report criteria um, and we're going to leave off any additional criteria and just choose run 
And this is the blended averages report. So blended averages provides a breakdown of a bowler's average across three different lane condition shot types. So when you set up a league, tournament, or open bowl session, a bowler can optionally choose a shot type of standard, sport, or challenge. Standard is your normal house shot. Sport is a pattern used at the collegiate or a professional level, and challenge is somewhere in the middle. Many centers have a league that bowl on sports or challenge shot. Blended averages will show a bowler's average across three different shot types, as well as a calculated blended average, which will use the USBC conversion charts to convert the sports and challenge average to a standard average. Then combine with the bowler's standard average to compute an overall blended average. So in this example, you can see Steve has a pure standard shot average of 209.48. He does not bowl in any challenge leagues. And he has a sports average of 205.5. When I scroll down to the bottom, Steve has a blended average of 216.98. This is a combination of all shot types converted to the standard average. So if you click the average conversion menu on the top right, you can see the average conversion form. You can use this form to convert averages between standard challenges, challenge and sports average, and it's the conversion data that the blended averages uses to perform its calculation. So let me, okay, so now let me go back to select report. And that is the last of the reports. So only a few more things to show you. You can save your report criteria to use at a later time. To demonstrate, let's add a rule. Let's just add a game score between 200 and 300. And click Add Close. Then on the top right, you can click Save Report. Type in a report name. I'm just going to call it Report 1. And click Save Report. OK, my report's been saved. Now I'm going to go all the way back out to the home screen. And I'm going to go right back in under Simple View. And then I can come up here to the top and click Load Report. Select Report 1. Click Load Report. And you can see my report criteria has been pre-populated. I click select report criteria again and there is my rule. You can delete if you wanted to. Select report one, click delete report, proceed, yes, and you can see that the report is gone. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the multi-report bowler view option that is under the home navigation menu. So choose multi-report bowler view. And you can see this is a slightly different look than the simple view, but really the only real difference of the simple view for select report is that this, support, this, this supports the selection of multiple reports and multiple bowlers at the same time. It just simply executes all reports simultaneously and gives you one tab per report. So let's do a quick example. Click on select reports and I'm just going to choose uh, basic frame metrics and basic game metrics and click save. And then I'm going to click on bowlers and I will select uh, Sarah and Steve and click save. We will keep while the same. Um, for this example, I'll choose all bowling um, and we'll keep regular and select report criteria. And I'm not going to add any criteria for this. I'm just going to click run. And what you see is four tabs. You see two tabs for Sarah and two tabs for Steve.
you can order the tabs up on using the menu you can say order tabs by bowler slash report and you can see Sarah is first then Steve or you can come back up to the top and you can say order tabs by report and bowler and now it puts basic frame metrics first and basic game metrics second and finally uh, something I didn't mention prior is that all reports can be shared using the shared menu up here up on the top and that's about it. So play with dynamic reporting, um, specifically um, play with the report criteria. Um, you'll find the possibilities are endless. Um, and I hope this helped and I hope you have fun. And if you have any additional questions, please send them to tbefeedback at gmail.com. And I hope everybody has a great day.